All right. Good morning. That love part. Okay. So, uh, I want to talk about this Black Lives Matter interruption with Hillary Clinton. Okay. I watched the footage. The girl did kept being persistent on her questions. But the way you answered her, Hillary, was as if you could fucking care less. Okay? It was very obvious. From uh, a universalist point of view or from the way the world, <clears throat> United States wants us to think. Okay? From that modern point of view. You, uh, you shunned that girl. You shoved her aside. You know what you should have done? As soon as she said that kind of stuff, you should have immediately said, I am so sorry if I caused you any harm or any uh, pain in your heart. And I apologize and I, and I hope best wishes for you and I'll do my best to work harder on Black Lives Matter or whatever it was, whatever the problem was. You should have grabbed that girl and not only not only said that, you should have hugged her, embraced her, grabbed that, and that little, that little white piece of paper would have been so much nicer looking, crumpled up in between you and her, embraced in a hug, okay? You should have hugged her. You should have hugged her and reassured her and said, I'm sorry, I didn't know that, I wasn't aware of that, and I'll get right on it. Not this bullshit where you... You made it like you didn't give a shit and you were rude to her. She's angry. She's there and she's angry and she wants answers. If You could have really an, uh, handled that a lot easier and better. And you would have got way more people to agree with you and care about you and see that you, you're genuine. But that was obviously you didn't give a shit. Because you should have embraced that girl. For her bravery. Okay? I'm not all about this Black Lives Matter because to me all lives matter. Okay? It's racist. But the point is, according to the viewpoint of, I mean, just the regular world, in my opinion, you should have, as soon as she said that, you should have grabbed her by her, you know, not grab her by her throat, but put your arm on her. Wrapped around, arms around her and embraced her genuinely and said, I'm so sorry for anything I've caused, any kind of harm I've caused you. And it wasn't intentional. And I care about black lives and they do matter to me and say, I'll do whatever I can to help change this. But instead, you just kept saying, well, if you give me a chance, you give me a chance. No one wants to hear you talk about your rebuttals. They want to hear the answer and they want to be... And they want to be reassured that you are a compassionate and caring person. And you showed your true colors right there. You showed your true colors. You don't like black people. You don't. You don't like black people. You're a racist yourself. Inside your heart. I can tell. You probably frown on black people. Because lots of rich white people are that way. Okay? Am I judging you? No. Did you guys know that Hillary used to be a, a, a member of the Young Republicans Club? So she does know how to play ball right. Get it? Right. Instead of left. She knows how to play ball right, okay? She can swing a bat. She can swing a sword. And I'm telling you, you guys think that just because it looks like she's getting dumped on by Trump with these votes... And it looks like she probably has no hope to win this thing. And she's just laying low, not doing much. Letting Bill just run around and campaign and probably get his thing sucked. But, you know, uh, the point is, and she's probably getting hers licked, so it doesn't matter. But the point is, the real point is that she ain't doing much right now. She's got an ace card, a trump card, okay? up her sleeve and probably more than one I'm telling you this woman she may make some stupid mistakes but she is not stupid she is far from ignorant she is a very intelligent highly intelligent person and she does understand the way the Republicans think not because she's just watched them or dealt with them 
she was one of them, okay? She was a young in the Young Republicans Club, okay? As a young adult and a teenager or whatever, okay? So she knows what's right. She knows what how to um, use these right ideas and, and pervert them and twist them and, and angle them in ways that the right will accept it or whatnot. Anyway, my point is, this woman, you guys think she's got nothing? She hasn't even started yet. She's got shit up her sleeve, and she's going to swing a sword the last second, okay? That's going to, if, if Donald Trump doesn't duck it, or the Republicans or whatever don't duck it, she's going to chop your damn head off, I'm telling you. This woman's smart. She's got shit on all these guys. She's just sitting on it. And she she's kind of being smart because she's sitting there letting Trump's uh, energized uh, base uh, lose some power. Because as it gets closer and closer and closer, either he's going to get more and more popular or it's going to decline and people are going to start saying, well, I don't know if I want to, you know. And then she'll start putting the, the juice and the dirt and the, and the mud out on Trump, okay, which he probably has mud on them too because he's rich and powerful. But the point is... She's got shit she's sitting on. Believe that. Okay? She's sitting on some stuff that's gonna... You're gonna let that stuff out at, at the end. But she's on trial right now, too. With the FBI. Um, so, I don't see how she's a candidate. Uh, you know? If I was on trial for the FBI, I don't think the uh, United States would let me run for the president. <laughs> but anyway... I wouldn't want to be the damn president. God damned president. Uh, anyway, so um, you guys think Hillary's just going to lose all this? And she ain't got nothing going for her? Just wait, I'm telling you. The woman can swing a sword. And she will do it when you're not looking. She'll do it when everyone's attention is on the TV and on that man when everyone's attention's on that man she's gonna what she got your attention away she's gonna swing that sword and it's gonna change the whole game but she's gonna come up from behind and I'm telling you they're too smart to, for you guys to just think that this is that's all she has to offer is Bill walk you know going from state to state talking about her she will pull out her sword you will not see it ninja style be red T, okay? Be red E. Get it? You are not red E, like a PlayStation, okay? Man. So, you guys know that uh, she was a young Republican, okay? So she knows the ins and outs, and she knows how to be right. She's playing. She's playing. Um, I don't know what to think anymore about it's, politics is bullshit. But back to the original subject, okay, one more time. You should have embraced that girl and said you're sorry and you'll do what you can to help the situation rather than treating her like that just blew up all your supporters, okay? That, you lost a lot of black votes, okay? You should have embraced that girl. Even if she was acting a little belligerent. She's angry. Don't you understand that? You can hug people. Calm them down. Okay? But I think you didn't even want to touch her. Okay? You don't want to touch her. You're a snob. You're a snob. I would hate to call you a mother. Any real mother that loved... Regardless of the, the race of that person, would have embraced that person and said, Let's try to find a way to uh, understand this problem and fix it instead of saying, Well, if you just give me a chance to talk, why don't you shut up and listen to other people? That's the problem with politicians. All they want to do is talk, and yes, I'm up here talking, but I ain't a politician. All they want to do is talk, but they don't want to listen to nobody. They don't want to listen to nobody. You ever notice that? Even in the debates, 
They all love to do their talking. But when it's time to listen to someone else, they always want to interrupt them. Or not listen. Or look the other way. Or some other shit. Anyway, bad move, Clinton. Bad move, Team Hillbilly. Because you should have embraced that girl. And I don't even know why I'm advising you. Because I'm not really advising you. I'm just pointing out how, obviously... You didn't give a shit about Black Lives Matter or you would have Im immediately embraced her and said, I am so sorry. I was un unaware of the situation and let's do what we can to help make this better. But instead, you just treated her like a fucking piece of shit trash and s tossed her aside and now you have to pay for it, you dumbass. Wicked Witch of the East. You know what? You should just go to hell. <laughs>